As part of Delta Airlines hiring process, candidates may be required to take an online assessment test. These tests can vary depending upon the position you're applying for, but may include the following assessments. Number one is cognitive abilities test. This test assesses candidates' problem-solving skills, critical thinking ability, numerical reasoning, and verbal reasoning. Number two is personality assessment. This type of test evaluates candidates' behavioral traits, work style, and how they might fit within the company's culture. Situational judgment test measures candidates' ability to handle workplace scenarios and make appropriate decisions. And last but not least, test number four, potentially used by Delta Airlines, is the customer service assessment. Customer service assessment is used for customer facing roles, where Delta Airlines may include an assessment to evaluate candidates' customer service skills and ability to handle challenging situations. In this video, we will look at the sample questions used by Delta Airlines to assess job candidates. Let's go ahead and get started. Which was initially designed to test your spatial reasoning, but also could be used to test your cognitive abilities and analytical skills. You're presented with four shapes, and you need to find the square which fits all the shapes across the borderlines. You need to select one square out of four possible choices based on the borderlines presented. Choices are A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can identify the item. Seems challenging, don't you think so? Let me give you a hint. Try to see if you need to rotate the shapes or do any other manipulations with the shapes before trying to fit them. Are you ready now? Let's move forward and I'll share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. Not sure about you, but I was able to solve this challenge in three simple steps. In step one, you need to assign the numbers. In step two, you need to rotate the shapes to position them to fit. And in the last step three, you need to try all the options to find the square which fits all the shapes across the separator lines. Let's look at the example. Let's first assign each shape a number. Because we have four shapes, the numbers will be one, two, three, and four. The second step is the hardest. In this step, you need to rotate the shapes to position them to fit and you need to find the closest square which fits all the shapes. Let's rotate each shape to get them into the correct position. Let's rotate shape 1, now shape 2, now shape 3, and now shape 4. You need to watch out because rotation could be in the different directions, as it happens in this question as well. And once you have all the shapes rotated correctly, we need to move to step 3, where we will try all the options to find the square which fits all the shapes. Square A is not going to fit them because there are five shapes based on the borderlines. Square C also is not going to fit them. Same with square D. So the only correct answer here is choice B. Did you get to the same conclusion? Or maybe you found a better way to solve it? Please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. This is one of my favorite questions just because it's so unusual. But the answer here is very simple. You're presented with the set of eight circles. Six of the circles are visible, and you need to select two missing ones. You have four different choices to find the missing circles. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. Ready or not, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To answer this question, we need to detect the pattern. And the pattern here is very simple. Each circle is broken down into sections with darker sections and lighter sections. And if you look closely, you will see that all circles are grouped in pairs. And the pattern is hidden in the sequence for circle pairs, with each subsequent pair being similar to the previous one. Let's take a close look. To better understand the pattern, let's give each circle a unique number. If we start with the top row of circles, the numbers would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and the bottom row of circles will have numbers 5, 6, 7, and 8, with 7 and 8 being our missing pair. If you look closely at the circle 1, you will see that there is a dark section at the 2 o'clock, and circle 2 has two dark sections, one at noon and another one is at 2 o'clock. Similar pattern you see in circles 3 and 4, and then circles 5 and 6 also mimic the same pattern. 
looking at possible answers, you see the choices A, B, C do not meet this pattern. And the only right answer that fits the pattern is choice D. Hopefully you've got to the same conclusion. And if you didn't, please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments. I love this question because it is used very frequently to test your analytical skills and business math skills. You're presented with three expressions. The first expression is candy multiplied by sun equals 15. The second expression is candy plus 4 equals 9. And third and last expression is 12 equals sun multiplied by question mark. And you need to find this question mark and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 2. Choice B, 3. Choice C, 4. And choice D, 5. Take a close look. Maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. Are you ready? I think you might benefit from a quick hint. And my hint to you would be, take a look at the middle expression. Are you ready now? Let's move forward and I'll share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. This set of expressions looks unsolvable. But in reality, if we start with the middle expression, we can actually solve it. Let me demonstrate. Let's start with the expression candy plus 4 equals 9. Believe it or not, but we can actually calculate it. Candy would be equal 9 minus 4, and we can calculate the value for candy, which would be equal to 5. Now, knowing the value of candy, let's focus on the top expression. Candy plus sun equals 15. We know that the value of candy is 5, and when we substitute candy, it would be equal 5 multiplied by sun equals 15. So the calculated value for the sun would be 3. And now we can focus on the last expression. 12 equals sun multiplied by question mark. We know that the value of sun is 3, and we can substitute it, and the new expression will be 12 equals 3 multiplied by question mark. Question mark can be calculated by 12 divided by 4. So the end result would be answer C, 4. If you came up with the different answer, please post your answer and solution in comments. And now I have a practice question for you. Here I'm not going to reveal the solution, but instead I'm going to ask you to solve the challenge and post your answer in the comments so I can give you my feedback. In this question, you're presented with the scale, which consists of multiple shapes. Scale remains in balance, and you need to calculate the missing value of the diamond as well as the total sum. Once you're done with your analysis and calculations, you need to select your answer out of four possible choices. Choice A. 18 and 96, choice B, 12 and 88, choice C, 20 and 92, and last but not least, choice D, 19 and 94. Do you have your answer? Please make sure to post your answer, solution and rationale in comments so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck solving the challenge. I enjoy solving pattern questions because they're so easy to understand, but sometimes not so easy to solve. We are presented with the sequence of numbers and we need to find the missing number, which is the next in the sequence. The numbers are 25, 20, 16, 13, 11, and then comes the missing number. You need to calculate the missing number out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Choice A is 8, choice B is 10, choice C is 7, and choice D is 9. Take a close look to see if you can do the calculations and come up with the solution for the missing number. It looks confusing, isn't it? But believe me, there is a hope at the end of the tunnel. And I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. Here we have a concept of decrement. And the pattern is that the next number is calculated as previous number minus decrement and decrement increases by 1 with each number in the sequence. Let's take a close look. Our first number in the sequence is 25, and our first initial decrement is minus 5. 25 minus 5 equals 20, and this is how we come to the second number. Then we decrease decrement by 1, and the decrement becomes minus 4. 20 minus 4 equals 16. 16 minus 3 equals 13. 13 minus 2 equals 11, and 11 minus 1 equals 10. So the correct answer here is choice B, 10. Was your answer different? Please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments then, so we can all learn. Here's an amazing question to test your spatial reasoning. You're presented with the three-dimensional view, and you need to select view from the opposite side 
out of four possible choices. The choices are A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can select the right solution. Please look closely as it may not be as easy as it seems. Are you ready? Because I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And if you have a better way to solve it, obviously please make sure to post in comments. If your answer to this question was choice C, you answered it correctly. There are four objects on the original three-dimensional image. We have a duck, we have a basketball, we have a smartphone, and we have a hammer, which is barely noticeable on the original picture. And the easiest way to solve this challenge is to select one object and track it on the opposite side. I selected a duck, but you can as well select a hammer or a smartphone. It is a little bit harder with the ball because it's in the middle and it's a symmetrical object. So let's go back to the duck. If you look at the original image, you see that the duck is looking to the left and it is on the left side of the ball. Which means that if we look from the opposite side, the duck will be looking to the right and would be on the right side of the ball. We frequently see these types of questions on the test, so to help you solve these types of challenges, here are the views of these objects from a different sides. Take a look at these objects from the right, from the left side, and take a look at this set of objects when duck and the ball have changed the position. I wanted to ask you, did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments, as well as you can supplement it with some tips on how to solve these types of challenges. Have you ever dealt with the money tree? Well, now it's your opportunity. And it's your opportunity to check your attention to details. You're presented with the money tree making enterprise. And you need to calculate the total value of money that you see in the picture. What's interesting here is that each coin is one cent. And each bill equals one dollar. You need to identify all coins and all bills and count the total value. Once you complete the calculations, please select one out of four possible choices. Choice A, $10.18. Choice B, $12.09. Choice C, $15.15. And last but not least, choice D, $18.07. Take a close look to see if you can complete the calculations. I think the correct answer here is choice A, $10.18. And here's why. I counted $10 in the picture. Let's start with the top of the money tree. One, two, three, four. And then on the right, we see another group of the dollar bills. There are five dollars there. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. And then we see the hard to notice dollar bill on the top of the flower pot. Now let's count the coins. We see nine coins to the right of the flower pot. Then we see eight coins coming out of the watering can. And then there is one coin on top of the watering can, which is easy to miss. Did you get to the same answer? Choice A, $10.18. If you didn't, please make sure to post your answer and whatever other coins or dollar bills I missed in comments. Here's the very interesting drum problem, which I have full confidence that you will solve very quickly. You're presented with three drums. And the next drum in the sequence is missing. You need to select the next drum out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Did you figure it out? You would be surprised how simple the answer is. And that's why I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To solve this challenge, we need to understand the pattern and the pattern will help us get to the correct solution. Even though drums and drumsticks look similar, this is not the case. If you look closely, you will see that only drumsticks are the same, but drums are different because they have dotted designs on each drum. Let me assign a unique number to each drum in the sequence. We will reference these drums as 1, 2, 3, and then the missing drum we will reference as number 4. Let's look closely at drum number 1. On the top of the drum 1, dotted pattern consists only of the white dots. But as it continues, you see different colors. Let's follow these colors. We have white, yellow, blue, pink, 
purple and green. If we go to drum number two, you see that the dotted pattern shifts as it goes from left to right and then this pattern restarts. For example, the last dot in the drum one is green, but then in drum two, this green dot restarts the pattern. To get to the correct answer, we need to continue shifting the pattern and get to the correct pattern for drum number four. And the correct pattern for drum number four will be pink, purple, green, white, yellow, and blue. And drum that matches this pattern will be choice C. Did you get to the correct solution? If not, please make sure to post your solution and rationale in comments. I love this question because it tests your spatial reasoning and analytical skills so well. You're presented with overlapping set of objects. We have in the picture pink square, red star, gray circle, yellow star, green circle, blue box, and pink diamond. In the middle of the picture, we have a gap where nothing is presented and this gap is represented by the question mark. You need to fill the gap with one of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look at the picture to see if you can fill the gap and find the missing object. I'm pretty sure you got it because I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. The correct answer here is choice C. Let's confirm and verify it by moving this choice to fill the gap. To solve these types of challenges, you need to mentally build the object in your head by continuing to visualize in your head one of the existing objects in the picture. I used green circle. It is very obvious which choice would continue the green circle. But you can also use yellow star, blue square, or pink square. Do you know any other ways how to solve these problems? Please make sure to post your ideas on how to better solve them in comments. Thanks for watching. If the content was helpful, please give us a like and consider subscribing. This is the way for you to tell us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure to deliver it for you in the future. For links and resources referenced in this video, please check the description. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to find what you're looking for and download the materials. We really thank you for your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.